In this video, I'm going to explain why you're having timing problems after changing the timing belt or timing chain. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why you are having timing issue after replacing either the timing belt or the timing chain. If this is your first time working on a timing belt and timing chain and something went wrong, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the problem is. For example, after changing the timing belt or timing chain and you start up the vehicle and you notice it's not starting, let's say if it starts right up and you notice rough idle or you notice strange noise or you notice the check engine light turning on and so on, I'm going to tell you guys what went wrong. The first most common problem is your timing is off. On the camshaft sprocket, there should be timing mark on the camshaft sprocket and the timing mark right behind the camshaft sprocket. On the crankshaft gear or sprocket, you're going to see a timing mark on it and usually there's going to be a timing mark right on top of the uh, crankshaft gear or sprocket. If you can't find a timing mark, look carefully. The timing mark is probably covered by engine oil or dirt. To properly line up the timing mark, cylinder number one must always be at top dead center. Once cylinder number one is on top dead center, make sure all the timing marks are aligned. For some vehicle, the camshaft and the crankshaft requires a special tool to lock it in place. On some vehicle, the camshaft sprocket might have a few timing marks. For example, there might be one, two, three, and four, and it's going to be numbered one, two, three, and four. Number one is going to be the correct timing mark. If the timing marks are lined up and cylinder number one is on top dead center and the vehicle is still not starting, I'm going to tell you guys what went wrong again. The first thing you should always check is going to be the camshaft and crankshaft sensor. Check the connection and check the wires on the camshaft and crankshaft sensor. Check the camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensor for dirt and engine oil on it. If there's engine oil and dirt on it, make sure to clean it up very good. For some vehicle, the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley, there's going to be a lot of teeth on it that's going to go all the way around and there's going to be a little notch on the harmonic balancer. Basically, that's gonna be used for timing. And when you put back the harmonic balancer, it needs to go back in the same spot, otherwise your vehicle will not start. If your vehicle is still not starting, or let's say it started right up, but it runs very rough, or let's just say it start and stall, maybe the timing jumped. The most common reason why your timing jump is going to be reusing the old timing tensioner. If you have a brand new timing tensioner and your timing still jumped, Maybe you installed the timing belt wrong. For example, there might be too much slack in the timing belt or timing chain. When installing the timing belt or timing chain, I always start from the opposite side of the tensioner. The way I do it, I start from the crankshaft pulley, and I start from this side, I go up this way, all the this way, all the way down this way. So on this side, it's going to be extremely tight, and there's this side, there's going to be slack. It doesn't matter if this side has slack or not because the tensioner is going to take up the slack once you pull the pin. When replacing the timing belt or timing chain, I always buy the timing kit. You want to make sure you replace the water pump, you want to make sure you replace the idler, you want to make sure you replace the uh, tensioner, the timing guide, the chain, and so on. If you're still having a timing problem, it is time to perform a compression test. If compression is good and the vehicle is still not starting, next, check for injection pulse by using a noise light. If there is no injection pulse, there's something wrong with that crankshaft sensor. And again, take a look at it again and inspect it carefully. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.